Assalamualaikum, dear students, how are you? Hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today we are passing a very critical time. You know, the whole world is severely affected by COVID-19. So, we have to stay at home. Our normal class session is closed today. For this reason, I am here to help you. Today, I am going to conduct a class on Unit, unit 12. The title is Environment and Nature. Unit 12, Lesson 1. Page 156. The title is Water, Water, Everywhere. You know, the lesson starts with the four lines of a famous romantic poem named The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, written by a famous romantic poet, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The lines are, water, water, everywhere, and all the boats did shrink. Water, water, everywhere, nor any drop to drink. What do the lines mean? Actually, in this poem, we find the description of an old mariner and his shipmates. The mariner committed a crime by killing an innocent bird, albatross. We know no crime is unpunished. So the creator punishes the mariner and his shipmates. They suffer from scorching heat of summer. They suffer, they suffer from hunger, from thirst and many other supernatural sufferings. At one point, we find that there was water everywhere because you know, in sea there is water and water, but we can't drink sea water because of its salinity. And the mariner and his friends were suffering from utmost thirst. There was water everywhere, but they couldn't drink a single drop of water. How pathetic the situation is. Why these lines are included in this topic? Actually, we know that ours is a riverine country. We have a lot of ponds, canals, and we have a sea. Then you can ask me, we have a lot of sources of water, but why should we be worried? Yes, we have a lot of sources of water, but if we pollute the sources of this water, one day we will shout, water, water, and we won't find a single drop of water to drink. So, let us start the topic. Coleridge's poem, A Ballad. What is the meaning of ballad? Ballad is a type of poem in which a story is told. It is a narrative poem. So, let us repeat again. Coleridge's poem, A Ballad, narrates, means describes, the harrowing sea voyage. Harrowing, agonizing. What is the meaning? Agonizing of sea boys of an old mariner, old sailor, who at one point of his journey didn't have any water to drink because of a curse. So you know what is the curse? The curse is the killing of an innocent bird because of a curse. So what is the main theme? Actually, 
the poem says us about the sufferings of an old mariner who committed a crime second line cursed or not we know how important drinking water is in our life we know drinking water is very important for our life we can live five to six days without food but we can't live without water so the most important thing is water how important drinking water is in our life we know we can't survive survive means can't live survive is far we can't survive without it we can't live without water in fact two thirds of our body is made up of water we know the main element of our body is water not for nothing is it said that the other name of water is life we know it very well we can't live without water so water is called another name of our life is there a crisis in our time with regard to access access facility to clean drinking water you can ask me we have a lot of sources of water but is there any crisis of drinking water the united nations in a meeting on the eve eve means beginning of the new millennium identified selected noticed identified the drinking water problem as one of the challenges for the future for it united nations has given importance to this problem why because we are going to face a severe problem of pure drinking water in future so we have to be careful right now before it is too late but do you need to worry about the problem as ours is a land of rivers what do you think should we need to worry yes we need to worry about the problem and we have plenty of rainfall we know in our country we get much rain water but if we fail to preserve the rain water if you fail to preserve the sources of pure drinking water one day we will suffer from severe crisis of pure drinking water besides we have a sea in our backyard too this may be your point yes we have these sources of water but what is the present scenario let us see come to page 157 one of the sources of water in our country is the rivers so it is very clear to us that rivers are one of the major sources of water in our country rivers are everywhere in our life literature economy and culture you know a lot of poems have been written depending on the topic of river we have a lot of music a lot of song based on the theme of river sarbonasha podda nodi o podda re nodi re kul gelo o kul bhange e kul gore o kul bhange a lot of song is composed on the theme of river how it influences our economy we know transport system is very important for our business and economy and river plays an important role in our transport system transport system through river way is very cheap so it influences our economy and culture too but are the rivers in good shape the river does a lot of things for us 
but what is their present condition unfortunately they are not no their condition is not okay we haven't preserved our rivers a few are already dead a few rivers are already vanished they do not exist because we have polluted them we have vanished them and several are going through the pangs of death oh pangs of death why because still now we are polluting our rivers so we should be careful from this moment the river buriganga is an example of a dying river you can ask me can river die yes we are polluting the rivers and we are throwing garbage as waste as different waste materials into the rivers and in this way the river is dying which is very pathetic a report published in the daily sun described describes what has happened to the river buriganga and why market a report is published in the newspaper the daily sun and it, it describes that what has happened to the river buriganga and why can you ask yourself if you go to visit buriganga you can find the black dirty water of buriganga doesn't it hurt you hurt you if you pass by buriganga you will able you will be able to feel the bad smell of the river water how much polluted it is its water is polluted and a perpetual continuous lasting stands bad smell what is the meaning of stands bad smell fills the air around it but that is not what it was like before the past condition was not like this the river had a glorious past now let us come to the third pair and let us see what is the condition what was the condition of the river in past the report says that the river had a glorious past oh what a wonderful past the river had once it was a tributary of the mighty ganges and flowed into the bay of bengal through the river dhaleshwari so what have you got the river was a tributary of the ganges and flowed into the bay of bengal through the river dhaleshwari gradually day by day it lost its link its connection link means connection it lost its link with the ganges and got the name buriganga it got the name buriganga the mughals were marveled surprised astonished the mughals were marveled at the tide level of the buriganga and founded set up their capital jahanginagar on its bank in 1610 mark on river bank mark the use of preposition on its bank in 1610 before year the preposition is in and before uh, river bank it is used on the river supplied provided drinking water so once it provided drinking water but can it do the same now no and supported health trade and commerce jahangir nagar was renamed dhaka re 
again named Dhaka, which grew into a heavily populated city with a chronic shortage of space. So we can see the condition of Jahangirnagar. It became a heavily populated city. Why? Because of the facility of transportation. Whenever we go to buy a piece of land, what do we mark? What is the transportation, transport system, transport facilities? What is the facility of bazaar, market, schools and other organizations? So these facilities are available because of the river Buriganga. Buriganga has done a lot of lot for us. But what have we done for Buriganga? We are polluting the river. The river is in a very pathetic condition. So actually what is the moral of the lesson? Actually, you think, you ask yourself, why this topic is included in your text? It is only because we are not careful about our water resources. We are polluting and polluting. If you throw wastes, if you throw a polybag in drain, in canal, in pond, in river, can government alone protect it? No. We have to be conscious to protect, to save our water resources. This is the main message. So, now write down some questions as your homework. Question 1. What are the What are the significance of water? What are the significance of water? Number two, why is the river Buriganga described as an example? I repeat, why is the river Buriganga described as an example of a dying river as an example of a dying river question three what is according to the what is according to the united nations comma one of the challenges one of the challenges for the future for the future so prepare the answer yourself it is your homework don't idle away your time and your another homework is you will find out 10 words which is new which are new for you and you will find out they are synonym and antonym using dictionary in our next class we will discuss about flowchart which flowchart is important from this topic we will discuss about it so stay at home be safe pray to almighty and be safe. Pray for everyone. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.